So that tells you, when you see people that have had their tonsils removed young, they're already having lymphatic problems. Of course, back then, people had a lot of milk, a lot of formulas, and that was congesting people's lymph system so fast that they, you know, it's still happening today. Since having my tonsils removed as a kid, I am at much of a disadvantage in regards to the lymph system. That's a question mark. What can I do? Well, that's just it, Brad. I think the most important thing we can do is detox our, our system, get our adrenals. If, go back and fix why you lost the tonsils. In other words, go back and fix that why. And you fix that why, you're good. And then you stay, you know, pretty high raw diet, high fruit, berries, and melons in your life, and you'll keep your lymph system moving and you won't notice a thing. But you have to go back. You have to fix your kidneys, your adrenals. You got to clean up your gut, lymphatically speaking. Clean up your body, lymphatically speaking, and get yourself healthy. And then, Brad, you don't have to worry about it. Once you get your kidneys filtering and you may maintain a good high diet and stay away from these high protein diets, you should be okay. Uh, this other girl, and I want to address this. This is a little young 21 year old girl that wants to have her tonsils out because she constantly has sore throats and takes antibiotics. You never want to remove your tonsils. Removing your tonsils is like removing your septic tank at your house. If you don't know what your septic tank is at your house, that's where all your waste from your, your urine and your stool go. That's essential tank so bacteria can break it down. If you remove a septic tank and you keep using and flushing your toilet in your house, it'll start backing up into your house. You lose your tonsils when you get older, you're not going to like what's going to take place up in your head. From brain lesions to brain cancers to glaucoma, lymph pressure to macular degeneration to deteriorated C-spines, the loss of jaw uh, and, and gum tissue and teeth and uh, so forth. I've had my tonsils uh, removed when I was little and not educated. What herbal formulas would you recommend? Again, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, interesting uh, icon or whatever. You know, the same thing. I was just talking to this lady about that, with the, uh, or the one before without the tonsils. You, you, when you have lymph nodes removed, then you really have to you know, get settled into a fairly decent diet the rest of your life uh, so you don't have that deterioration, you don't have the glaucomic pressure, you don't have all these problems that you would normally have. So for those that are compromised with tissue removed, then you have to just settle in and have a better lifestyle and a better diet because all you can do. Uh, you might want to get aggressive at cleaning your lymph for a while, so you know, spend six months of your life and really tear it up, clean your body out really good. Then you're going to have to, you'll be able to maintain good lymph drainage fairly well, uh, especially with a good raw food diet, at least, you know, 80% and stuff, and you'll do well. Keep in mind, you always have access to lymphatic herbs and kidney herbs, and every once in a while, move your lymph system aggressively with the help of some herbs and uh, maybe lemons and stuff like that, and then you'll do well from that. It's interesting without tonsils and adenoids, you don't get major lymphedema, but you get sub-major lymphedema. So what we don't realize is slowly the lymph system starts backing up. We notice those without tonsils particularly have stiff necks and shoulders. We notice particularly they start losing their C-spine. We notice particularly they start getting floaters more. We notice particularly they get the glaucomas, which is the lymph pressures in the eyes. Well, this is not a good pressure because this is an acid pressure. So then they get the breakdown and they get the MACDs, wrinkled retinas, and all that kind of stuff. But they for sure get the cataracts, which is the body's effort to fight the acids with cholesterol. Then you get the brain lesions, brain tumors, a little stuff like that one. And then you get the deterioration of the teeth. I mean, this goes on and on and on from the breakdown of the hearing to everything else. And then, uh, what? where did I park my car? <laughs> that sort of thing. So th this is why you never remove lymph nodes. He was always sick. So what this is saying is that your kidneys and adrenals have always been problematic for you at moving lymph and that you haven't been moving lymph well in your life, and this is the sign of it. But on an omnivorous diet, or on an omnivore diet, you don't move lymph well. She's had her tonsils removed at 20. At 20 years old, they remove tonsils. They still don't know what tonsils are. My God, you don't know what your tonsils are? Medical community, my God. Sorry, sweetheart, you had to, maybe you'll grow your second set. Listen, they'll grow back. Especially if you're a raw foodist, you get your tonsils back. This time you're going to correct why you have them out. Remember, always work on your colon, sweetheart. Work on your kidneys. Work on your lymph system here.
if you want to comment on to grow back tonsils if you could well I've seen them I, I, I told you I had a man in here I asked him and I ask everyone do you still have your tonsils because that immediately tells me what they're they've been putting up with or what they're headed for and so uh, and it gives me a chance to explain what the tonsils are to people and so uh, uh, this man had told me he had his third set now I've never heard I've heard of plenty of people growing them back but uh, for the second time, but never for the third. And uh, so this guy decided God wanted to keep his tonsils after the third set. And I said, do you think? <laughs> uh, uh, I got uh, t removed tonsils and appendix. Woo, honey, they shouldn't have done that to you. I know. They, so that shows you, having the appendix removed shows you that you're interstitially, lymphatically constipated in the bowel wall. Continue on stomach and bowel number whatever and lymphatic one capsules. We're going to keep pulling that. If you can do the GI broom, do that. When you're getting into lymph nodes and the swelling of lymph nodes, tonsils and adenoids, uh, just one of many, uh, you know that's directly the lymph system. So again, going back to what I just talked about, always clean up the bowels and always get the kidneys and adrenals going. Oh, and did I have my tonsils removed? Do you think it possible to regrow? Yeah, we've seen regrowth of tonsils. Uh, one guy, third time. I asked this one guy if he still had his tonsils. He said for the third time. He said after the third time, I decided God wanted them in there. That's good healing when you can do that. But if one so, so, uh, homo sapien can grow a third set of tonsils, guess what? You know, the only differences between us are genetic weaknesses and how toxic are we? How acidic are we? You correct those two things? Wow.